they had a fight almost over me staying there. My best friend hasn't recovered yet. I just don't want to deal with drama anymore. I am Amadeus, and I'm renovating a 13th century chateau. To be all honest with you, it's just a house. And you're watching my vlog about my new life in France. Welcome to the studio. It's another week. It's the week before we go to Frankfurt for the premiere. And it's the week where we have to wrap up the piece. We've been already rehearsing for one week. And by the time you're watching this video, I will already be on the way to France. Probably I will have almost arrived. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to another week or actually two weeks summed up in this video. Let's go. Let's get it started. <laughs> Today is a crazy day, so we could just rehearse for three hours because we went into the studio at nine o'clock. I had to stop before 12 and now I'm heading back to my best friend's place and I'm going to make some lunch. She's on the playground with her kid and then we might be able to rehearse in the afternoon from three or four on. So let's see if this is going to work. Oh, and somehow like this cough is still there and yeah, I don't know, not the best of times. Good morning guys, I'll be with you in a minute. Just let me get dressed and I'll just need to shave quickly and then I'll tell you all about it because there has been some more drama. <sighs> <sighs> so as you might have noticed, I'm in the hotel room and I'm still in Altenburg. We're rehearsing, it's the 1st of November today and we've had a bit of a drama happening yesterday so i was staying with my best friend and i'm still coughing so i was really getting stressed out about the coughing because um i know he's very like noise sensitive and he's just very peculiar they had a fight almost over me staying there so we chose to have an easier life and book a hotel room for me for the last five nights so there's four more nights left. It is uh, Wednesday today, yes. First day, Friday, Saturday, we still rehearse. Also today we rehearse. Um, Sunday we leave to Frankfurt to set up the show there and then continue. I got really frustrated in the last few days, like just talking, I got a um, decline for a scholarship that I applied to. I had lots of like, anxieties about money and so and about like survival <laughs> I know people who are freelancing will understand I guess it's just yeah it's a constant battle and I'm just tired right now I'm tired from two weeks of shows I'm tired from renovating a house for a year I'm tired of so many things and now I've pushed out, or we've pushed out this production, which we really poured our heart and souls and everything into. And we started it already in April and it was a huge like drama. I talked about like all the dramas that happened back then in one of the other videos, uh, in one of the other vlogs. So yeah, I'm just like, and then, and I think this drama that happened yesterday was the drama I was dreading, or I was generally dreading drama when going to Germany so I'm just like why did it happen but oh well it did and we solved it and it's fine and yeah now it's time to move on and hope for the best and I just can't wait to go back to France so and I have so many great things planned for being back in France and I want to decorate the house with you and everything so 
Yeah, I just can't wait to be back home. I'm packed. I just had to re-upload one of the videos because something went wrong while rendering and I didn't see it, but at least I realized it. So um, last that was last week's video, basically, but it's this week for me. <laughs> and yes, um, off to work, to rehearsals. So we're in Leipzig and we've gone around the block for like three times already because the restaurant we want to go to is a Korean one and it opens in like two minutes, two minutes now. <laughs> so. Ah. <laughs> it was really tasty, really tasty. So yeah, and now we're just walking around Leipzig until we uh, go back to Altenburg. But if you're ever in Leipzig, we can recommend this highly for you because it was really good authentic Korean food and every, not everything, but there was some stuff that was vegan and we ate all the vegan dishes and it was just really good. I'm heading to the theater and it's the second last rehearsal um, of this week. So it's Friday today and we have one more rehearsal on Saturday and then on Sunday we'll be leaving to Frankfurt. Oh, it's just really exhausting. And we're really trying to push through it now, but it's going really well actually. So rehearsal went quite well. We had the chance to clean a bit and just make it a bit nicer and clear things out and do a run at the end and we've officially finished the piece. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been a tough, tough time. Making a piece is really like a lot of like back and forth and getting stuck and then finding solutions for it and then trying out ideas and then maybe failing at those ideas uh, again so it's it's a really tough process but all in all i have to say i'm really glad we're finished and now i'm heading i mean we had to stop a bit early it's like three o'clock i'm heading back to the hotel and probably just letting my stuff there because I need to buy some things for the piece still, like makeup and stuff. So I said I'm gonna do it today. And then, yes, I will find some food. I cleaned my car, I got some food and I did some shopping um, for the show. Things like false lashes <laughs> and cleaner to clean off the makeup because yeah <clears throat> we're planning to go like full makeup and everything because it's a bit of like a reference reference to Alice in Wonderland and we both look like Alice so um yeah now I'm gonna eat my food watch a bit of YouTube I guess um and then stretch out for from the day I'm stretching out on the floor because my legs just feel so sore from today and while doing this, I'm watching Stuttgart Ballet. <laughs> the, it has been World Ballet Day this week. All the companies throughout the world, like ballet companies, they um, stream their rehearsals, their classes and everything. And it's really beautiful. And there's this just beautiful, beautiful rehearsal of Stuttgart Ballet. I have a cross tie to Stuttgart Ballet somehow because um, the director of my school was Birgit Keil, where I went to ballet school. And she has been one of the German primo ballerinas. And this particular piece they're rehearsing is one piece that one movement is dedicated to her. So yeah, 
it's just really gorgeous. And I saw this live and just seeing the rehearsal again, it's just like... <laughs> For the last day of rehearsals, Altenburg is showing its best side. It's beautiful skies, so it's a bit crispy cold, but I'll get my coffee and then meet my best friend at the market square and then off to the theater. So maybe a bit of history for you. Altenburg is a residency, residency city and it, you can see so many beautiful old buildings that are unfortunately falling apart because during the time of the DDR regime it actually um, went all down the drain because um, it was considered very bourgeois and considered of wealth and so those buildings weren't maintained and modern buildings were built outside the cities. Um, but yeah, this particular city, Altenburg, is um, where the Scott playing cards are from. <laughs> um, so they still have a factory here that makes them in here, I think since 17 something. So yeah, it's quite interesting and quite cute actually. And it's also got a castle on top of a hill, um, which also has the um, playing card museum inside. And it's located about, I would say 40 kilometers east um, from Leipzig, which is the closest um, big, big city here. So that's why we've gone to Leipzig, because it's about like 40 minutes with the um, metro to go there. There's a one metro line that runs here. So yeah, a bit of history for you there. <laughs> Just to, for you to know where I'm rehearsing and where I'm staying <laughs> right now. But I'll also be leaving tomorrow. <laughs> This day, I am so tired. I just got myself some takeout <laughs> um, because obviously I can cook in the hotel room and um, I decided on some falafel with salad and fries. <laughs> and um, heading back to the hotel, we just finished the run, the last rehearsal here. We could only rehearse from two o'clock because there was a misunderstanding with the studio, so... Uh, I'm just really tired and dead because we got all the other stuff that we needed to do before uh, that we wanted to do after we did before so oh, I'm just like I was already really tired this morning but now I'm just really really tired I just want to eat take a shower go to bed and then go to Frankfurt tomorrow morning I have literally been sitting on the floor for hours I mean I got out to get some drink because I really felt like I needed something with uh, taste. I don't know why, but sometimes I have this feeling that I need to drink something with a taste. And now I really have to pack. Although I really don't like packing, but I want to be all packed up today so that I can leave nine o'clock in the morning, the latest tomorrow. I just want to go. I just want to be in Frankfurt tomorrow and I can't wait to go back home. I miss home. I'm getting dressed and then I'm gonna carry down my backpack and the first two things because I think I need to carry things twice and then we'll be ready to leave. I shall spare you another drive and I'll see you in Frankfurt. Goodbye, Altenburg. Welcome to Frankfurt. Look at those moody skies, so beautiful. Sometimes I do miss Frankfurt. I mean, what a view of the skyline. Out for a little walk because I'm just so frustrated with things. I'll tell you more in the next few minutes for you in the next few days for me so yeah stay tuned preparing my coffee instant coffee because that's the only thing you can drink on a tour like this um if you don't have a coffee maker so i promised it's the next morning welcome to frankfurt to my hotel room here um so yeah it was quite dramatic like 
where to start. So the hotel apparently is completely booked out and they have overbooked it, which is not our problem. We already reserved like three months ago and still she was like trying to find us rooms and everything was so chaotic. It seems a bit dodgy, but at the same time it was cheap. It's okay. It's kind of clean actually. And um, I just want to get it over with, so I'm fine, whatever. And she let me stay because I actually booked like a deluxe room, but I only got a superior room. So for that, she told me like I could stay in the garage for free with my car, which, which saves me like 100 euros. So I'm fine with it, you know? But yeah, then other drama unfolded because freelance scene is very competitive and it's very, very hard to get audiences in. And if you don't have a theater that cooperates or not even cooperates, if you don't have a theater that has the means to do all of this, to do like public relations really well, then you end up with not much audience unless you have lots of friends. Obviously, we're not in Frankfurt anymore, although we're producing only in Frankfurt. But we don't know that many people anymore because it's also like <clears throat> it's ever changing. People we knew are not living in the city anymore, you know, so it's really hard to, to generate an audience. And apparently we have a really bad situation for um, ticket sales. So apparently there's like two ticket sale, two tickets sold for Wednesday, two tickets sold for Thursday and five for Friday. I got really frustrated yesterday. I got really frustrated. That's why I needed to take the walk. So um, let's see, we'll hope for the best. Miracles still can happen. And we also talked already yesterday, Katya and me, and we said like, you know, let's take it as a good general. And then like Wednesday, the premiere, and then let's let's take it from there. Maybe more people will show up, show up on Friday, and we're hoping that they invited press. So usually when press comes and gives you a good review, like people come, it still works really well. So um, let's hope for the best. And it's part also like of freelancing. It's part of like, yeah, being self-organized, being like, you know, you can't do everything at the same time. You need to learn that you can only do so much. And it's fine. It's all okay. It's, it is what it is, you know? And um, I'm already like low on en energy, my body hurts. It's like, I, I have put so much energy into this. So um, yeah, it's unfortunately, it's, it's been like this and COVID only made it worse because during COVID, we actually had sold out shows because people really want to go to theater, but we're hearing also from other colleagues that it's just like people don't go to the theater, especially to freelance theaters anymore. People go to that big opera houses, but the freelance scene has really suffered and has really been decimated by COVID and it's not recovered at all. So yeah, we'll have to see where this goes because I would say that I'm really good at making pieces and I don't want to give it up that easily. So, and I'd like to build it up in France as well. So let's see where it goes. Maybe French audiences are different. So in case we didn't have more problems, my colleague and best friend is out. I mean, at least for the day, she's not feeling well at all. She has a horrible migraine and her migraines can last days and days. So let's see how I'll figure out what to do, how to do, when to do. I'm on my way to the theater carrying most of the stuff um, over. And yes, probably I'll manage to set up the lights. Cross your fingers for me, please. And here it is, the entrance to the theater we'll be performing in. It's a bit like homecoming because we've performed in here so many times. It's actually really nice being back here. And I just talked to the one of the directors because it's two of them. So nice.
to my best friend's house because I'm meeting her for coffee because I don't know if I will be able to see her ever than today. I'm just so, so tired and exhausted and I just don't want to deal with drama anymore. It's like, oh God, so horrible. Like always something. I just want to go home. I just want to leave the chateau and continue working there. <laughs> uh, so I don't want to drag out this video too long. Katya is still not much better. Let's see if she can do a rehearsal tonight. She said maybe. She promised that she's going to dance tomorrow. So we'll see about that. I'll update you. I think I just need to chill a bit now. Go out, get some fresh air and then go to the theater and hopefully rehearse tonight with Katya. As you can see, the stage is empty and I'm alone, so my best friend hasn't recovered yet. Tomorrow morning is the last deadline for making a general rehearsal in the morning and then premiering at night. Ooh, that window's dirty. <laughs> it's the next morning. Katya is much better, thankfully. And... Yeah, I'm ready to go to the theater. I'm picking her up in her room and then we're heading to the theater to have a general rehearsal at 12 o'clock. And then our pre premiere is at eight tonight. As you can see, I'm getting ready. <laughs> and yeah, we're premiering tonight. I could not have believed this. It's just absolutely. Now I'll get ready and I'll talk to you after the premiere. Hello, well done. <laughs> it was really good but really tiring. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. I'll see you next week in France.